Gentlemen, remove your hats. to give all these students and uh, these adults a great big hand to volunteer their time to come out here. You and all the practicing they had to do the best as possible tonight. Thank you, students. Thank you, color guys. And now to help get things underway, it's my pleasure to turn over the microphone to our general chairman, Mr. Andy Polcadillo, who will bring you up to date on what's going to happen in our 24th annual Blue Water Brass Show. Andy? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I did not order the heat, but I did order a clear, dry day, and you don't win them all. Uh, but you're on the good side of the stadium, and in about an hour and a half, you'll be very comfortable. <laughs> Dave Mitchell, this is our 24th consecutive annual show. We're very pleased that we started, and uh, things have grown, and as you can see across the way, we have 19 banners on the wall, which represent adopt a core, friends, and show sponsors. So we've grown from no support to 19 uh, large support people. We appreciate the band boosters of both high schools and uh, band directors in allowing their students to come and rehearse and present the national anthems. Uh, as far as I can remember, this is the first time we've had the combined bands from the high schools here. Our town crier that you've seen the last two years sends regrets and he's not able to be here. As a town crier, he had responsibilities up in uh, Northwest Canada this weekend 
And so uh, he sends regrets, but would like to be back next year. A special thank you from me to my Blue Water Brass staff for their volunteer efforts and to all the friends of Blue Water Brass who help us put on this show. And especially to you folks who come to enjoy the evening. We appreciate your attendance. In your program book, we uh, placed two inserts this year. The reason being that uh, the book went to print about mid-June, and following that time, uh, there were two more ads presented to us, and rather than leave them out, we thought we'd put inserts in your book, so that's the reason. Uh, thank you to the Temperature Engineering Corporation for their ad, and also Mercy Health Center. As always, we appreciate the support of the Portland Area School District Administration and building staff for their helpfulness and cooperation. We have a, I have a special request, people. One of the Blue Water Brass volunteers' name is Del Luxton. Del has been with us for several years. He was the one that initiated the arm's length uh, 50-50 drawing, and Dell has been very ill the past year, and today Dell died. And in respect for Dell as a Blue Water Brass member, I'm going to ask each of you to stand, remove hats, in a moment of silence in respect for Dell Luxton. Please stand. Thank you. Thank you. We're very fortunate to have uh, our announcer for the evening, one of our Blue Water Brass members, one of my assistant chairman, Mr. Dave Teeple. It's yours, Dave. Enjoy the evening, folks. Thanks for coming. Okay, quickly, very quickly, I have to tell you the rules. The rules are this. You must clap, stamp your feet, whistle, applaud any time you see anything that you think is something special. You're going to hear some wonderful soloists tonight. You're going to hear, see some great drum lines. You're going to see some great things happening. And your enthusiasm helps these students know how much you appreciate all the efforts that they have put in. So, having said that, from Kitchener, Waterloo, Ontario, please help me welcome Dutch Boy. Dutch Boy is sponsored by the North Star Youth Organization. They were formed in 1977, and this marks their 25th anniversary. The 2002 show is entitled The Spanish Fantasy, and it has a rousing fanfare, a romantic ballad, and an exciting finale that will lead you on a Castilian adventure. Are the judges ready? Drum Major E. Christopher McLean is Dutch Boy ready. Dutch boy, you may take the field. <laughs>
Before you from Marion, Ohio, the Marion Glory Cadets with their 2002 show which is entitled Primarily Colors. It features renditions from Hindemiths, Mathis the Painter, and the Symphonic Metamorphosis on themes of Carl Maria von Weber. Hindemith is known as one of the major innovators of 20th century music and is known best for his Mathis the Painter. Would you please welcome the Marion Glory Cadets. Are the judges ready? <laughs> Drum majors, Amanda Packard and Amanda Reed. Are the Marion Glory Cadets ready? Marion Cadets, you may take the field.
Marion Glory Cadets. Where else but Blue Water Brass can you see and hear art come very live right before your very eyes and ears? The Marion Glory Cadets Drum and Bugle Corps is sponsored by the Marion Cadet Drum and Bugle Corps Incorporated. And the young ladies and gentlemen that uh, have performed for you tonight are ranged from 13 to 21 years old. And this corps ranked third at the Drum Corps Midwest and fourth place in the Drum Corps International 2001 Championships, where it was also voted the best DCI color guard. The Marion Glory Cadets hope that you have enjoyed this evening's Hindemith performance. Once again, from Marion, Ohio, let's give a big thank you to the Marion Glory Cadets. Getting set up before you from Sioux St. Marie, Ontario. Guys, stay in your seats. This is the all-female Bandettes. Tonight they're proud to present their 2002 program which is entitled Think Outside the Box. Being a small female drum corps has forced the staff and members of the Bandettes to find a unique way to produce this evening's product. The Think Outside the Box performance consists of four sections, the waltz, the march, the groove, and the jam. Are the judges ready? Drum Major Sandy Howe, are the bandettes ready? Bandettes, the field is yours.
Before you from Lake Erie, Pennsylvania, is the Lake Erie Regiment. Tonight the Corps is proud to present their 2002 repertoire entitled The Firebird, featuring introduction, infernal dance, round dance of the princesses, King Katya dance, pardon me, King Katya's dance, lullaby of the Firebird, and finale. Are the judges ready? Drum Major Leah Yount, is the regiment ready? Yeah. Lake Erie Regiment, you may take the field.
Now getting set up before you is the Capitol Regiment from Columbus, Ohio. And tonight, Capitol Regiment is proud to present their 2002 programs for the Summer Games, which is entitled Climbing Everest. This is utilizing the music from the IMAX film Everest and, Vit and Vertical Limit and David Gillingham's New Century Dawn. The Capitol Regiment will capture the drama of a journey filled with incredible struggles and eventual triumph of reaching the top of the world, which is known as Mount Everest. The show opens with all the ethnic mystery and intrigue that personifies Tibet and quickly moves to a very dynamic and powerful opening statement captured from Everest. The journey moves into the past, into the fast-paced and energetic music of New Century Dawn, showcasing all of the optimism and the ambivalence of the ascent. The second movement, which is entitled Base Camp, The Spirit Returns, offers an opportunity for the brass ensemble and the color guard to illustrate all the harmonies of the haunting and beauty and power of the awe-inspiring mountain. The avalanche and to the summit will capsulize their performance tonight. Are the judges ready? Drum majors Ellie Wooten and Will Perdomo. Is Capitol Regiment ready?
standing up before you from just south of our border, Toledo, Ohio, would you please welcome the Glassman. This nonprofit youth organization dedicated to providing a unique experience of a lifetime to the young men and women between the ages of 15 and 22 who make up this core. Using their music and their performance as an educational means, the Glassmen have relied heavily on a philosophy involving a family approach. This philosophy and dedication to the well-being of the members has brought the Glassman the distinction of being one of the most entertaining and educational drum and bugle corps in the world. The Glassmen are proudly sponsored by all of the organizations that you see listed on their drums and percussion equipment tonight, and they're going to perform to, for you the Odyssey, featuring Introduction and Dance, Movement One, Scherzo and Javelin, are the judges ready? <laughs> Drum major, Kyle Snavely and Matt Hensley, are the glassmen ready?
getting ready before you from Casper, Wyoming, the Troopers. The Troopers have long been known as America's Corps with this military look that it was inspired by the uniforms of the late 1800s 11th Ohio Cavalry. The Corps is leading a charge of resurgence of national pride with this year's program which is entitled Red, White and Blue, The American Spirit. Tonight's show is loaded with contemporary sounds of the American of today. The show embraces the Corps' longtime values as the rock upon which the future is to be built. The show starts out with Michael Torx's javelin, capturing the fire within the passion of Americans. Frank Tichelli's An American Elegy indulges the entire audience in a reflection of hope as hope washes over the field. And Stephen Malillo's Into the Storm conveys the sense of determination and perseverance as the quest for freedom is fulfilled. Are the judges ready? Drum Major Dan Perkins, are the troopers ready? <laughs> troopers, you may take the field.
in Kentucky is Southwind. Nineteen ninety-nine marked the rebirth of Southwind as an impressive world-class drum and bugle corps. And since then the corps has continued to build on that solid foundation which emphasizes the members' growth and development both on and off the field. Their 2002 production is entitled Evolution. This year's show begins with a driving rendition of J.S. Bach's Toccata. Tchaikovsky's March Slav produces the first rays of light as a wide variety of unique melodic and rhythmic ideas allow for this assortment of musical and visual interpretation. Then a brief prelude, and then the dynamic themes of Robert Yeager's Esprit de Corps brings a rousing conclusion to Southwind's 2002 production. Are the judges ready? Drum Major Marjorie Bielet. Is Southwind ready? Southwind, you may take the field.
Before you, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the Irish Corps, known as Pioneer. Tonight, Pioneer will present for you musical selections from the 1968 Oscar award-winning musical, Oliver. The theme of the musical, Oliver, as the Charles Dickens classic suggests, is about a young orphan boy's search for love. With the 19th century orphanage in Dublin, Ireland, as a background, the core opens its performance with a medley of Where is Love, Be Back Soon, Consider Yourself, and the main theme from Oliver. The core will continue with the familiar ballad, As Long As He Needs Me, followed by the high energy Who Will Buy. This will be accentuated with the use of the stage props, the backdrops, and the uniform accessories, the use of great soloists, and a mid-season uniform change. They expect this to be one of the favorites of the 2002 core fans. Are the judges ready? Drum majors, Tyler Clapp and Emily Tanner, is Pioneer ready? Pioneer, you may take the field.